It was in spring 75 that skateboarding took an evolutionary boost up to the point we are today. The Californian Zephyr team seized the pools and one of their members who pioneered skateboarding to another level was surprisingly not a Dogtown boy, but a Dogtown girl named Peggy Oakey. A few years later, some girls also tried their revolutionary trick Ollie, but it took a while to get the wheels off the street and rolling again for the women. But from now on, girls like Evelyn Bouillard popped into all kinds of skate grounds between street, bowl and vert. The reason I chose skateboarding is it just looked it looked cool to do. It looked fun and cool and like uh, normal people hate it, so I was into it, you know. But men still played a role in getting the women into the scene. I got into skateboarding through my little brother who took me to the Skater Palace. Before I was only into inline skating, really embarrassing, but I found skateboarding really cool. I started skating by myself. I didn't know anybody that, that skated, but my dad was always watching me skate. And then I just started meeting people and go, went to the skate park. At the time, the reason was my brother who skated, and I just borrowed his skateboard sometimes. I liked it and went to buy my own then. Well, nine years ago, you would hardly see a girl on a skateboard here. And now there are a couple more, and the level is getting harder and harder. So when I went on a contest four years ago, the standard was kick flips and heel flips. And now you go into a contest and you see somebody doing a kick flip frontside board slide. That's something that's really advanced in recent years. Maybe resulting from a better communication between the girls, a couple of girls only contests, and a growing girls scene. I said, Oh, do you skate? Because I skate and I never saw a girl skate. And she was like, Yeah, of course, I have a magazine and everything. I was like, Whoa, I'm not the only one. <laughs> and, and then I started meeting uh, the girls that skate. The girls' skateboard scene is constantly evolving and they're getting harder and harder. When you take a look at America, and see that they are doing handrail backside lip slides or backside smooth grinds down there, nobody would have expected that from a girl five or six years ago. But they're doing it in the meantime, and they're riding really, really well, and aren't skating girlish with their butts sticking out. They don't care anymore because they've adopted stuff from the guys and learned with the guys. That's what you see now, and it's super, super cool. While some skate girls in Hawaii get their motivation from skating with other girls. For me, I like feeding off all the girls' energy and watching them rip and I get so inspired because I've only been doing it for a little bit. It's super motivating and they're just like, the girl's like always encouraging, like Alex pushes me. She's like, come on, Amelia, you can do it, you can do it. I'm like, no, I can't. OK, maybe I can, maybe I can't.
basically, if you really want to do it, you're not going to think that you're going to hurt yourself. You're just going to think about the good stuff that doing it and the pleasure that you're going to have doing what you love to do. But it can be a tough game sometimes, skating or falling from a 10 to 14 feet high vert ramp, just as hard as in a skate park. When it's really on, when the sessions are really on and it's like a bunch of dudes and stuff and they're all dropping in on each other, you know, and like you're ready to fight each other over it and then we're trying to drop in, it gets pretty intense. I think in, in surf and skate, the girls now are much more girly than they used to be. And like, I, I always compare myself to my sister, and I know she would cry a lot if she hurt her, her leg or something. And I'm more, uh, how can I say it? Like, I can tolerate more pain than she does, but just because I got used to it, old and I skate like every day like about six hours. I came about turning pro. I'm looking up like Alyssa Steamer. So there are really talented young girls on the way. No problem with these big kick flips so far. I think I'm going to try and take skateboarding as far as I can. I mean, Alyssa Steamer's done it, so I'm hoping that I can take it as far as I can. I had to work pretty hard to get to where I am to make a living, so it's pretty tough. I think it's like a whole movement starting, because it seems like every day you see new, new girls like just beginning and starting out lately. So. Women's skateboarding is growing immensely, maybe with a more raw, edgy and dangerous attitude, or maybe mainstream, wherever women skaters decide to take it.